Hi everyone, I'm super excited. Um, my husband came across this bike in the trash and I've been wanting a bike for the garden to set up as a Parisian flower cart for years. Um, also for my photography, um, I photograph models um, for my, my business and I wanted one as a backdrop. So I'm super excited, but I thought I'd show you how I'm going to turn this into a, a flower cart. So we'll see how it turns out. I don't, I don't, I have a few ideas. I have, I'll show you, I have a bunch of um, things I found around the house that I think I might be able to set up. I collect like, I have so many baskets upstairs. I'm looking forward to having, getting them out of the house and turning them into something useful. I use them as photography props a lot um, in the studio, but the babies are getting, my grandbabies are getting bigger now. So um, I won't be using them. They used to be so tiny, I could put them into these tiny little baskets and crates. Um, so this will be a great use for them instead of sitting piled in corners in the house. And um, I'll take you along and show you. So let's get started. Okay, so here's a close-up of the bike. Um, I love it because it has that vintage white wall look to the tires, except they're that really pretty aqua color, which obviously my sweatshirt is basically the same color, so you know I like it. It, it has these cool flowers painted on it, but they are going to be covered with uh, probably a basket or something so I can put flowers in it. It has a really cool, what looks like leatherish or faux leather seat, and this neat um, cup holder that also looks like um, it's it's either faux leather or leather, I'm not sure, but it's uh, the brand Panama Jack um, on it, which uh, I believe is a suntan lotion, if I'm not correct. <laughs> Let me know. Um, yeah, so I think that the bike looks really cool. It's very, very rusted, you can see. So it's been sitting out for a long time. The, the metal is all rusted. The chain is completely rusted. So I don't have to feel bad about leaving this outside. Um, it's perfect for this application. I'm also setting it back here because I do have some, you'll see, there's some irrigation tubes back here, some 3 8 irrigation tubes already. And so I have something to tap into so I don't have to hand water all the flowers on it. We'll see how long it works out here. This also, this path here going down into what I call the secret garden. Uh, you see all the hydrangea and the spirea, the maples, the red maples. We have a big regular maple that volunteered there. I don't know that that will stay. We'll have to see. It's, it's, it's awful big already. And then we have um, a hydrangea here and some pachysandra. So I think it's going to be a beautiful backdrop as that hydrangea starts to bloom. And then you have the reds and the gold colors. So it'll be a really, really nice place for a flower car. Plus, it's right next to our sitting area and our gazebo which will be really nice. And I have this vintage chair I found and I'll be setting that up as um, a flower seat again. I did it last year, turned out really good. I still have to get these baskets onto um, drip tubing too. So I'll set all that up at the same time. Here's all the plants and flowers I've collected. Um, we have kind of an area that we call our nursery when we see something we like or it's on sale. These plants were all on sale. So I got them probably like four for $22, which I thought around here is a great pr price. Oh, oh, the, the, what really got me excited about this is my daughter gave me this beautiful hanging basket for Mother's Day. And um, it's a proven winner's basket, which I'm super excited about because they're the only petunias I'll grow anymore. Um, they're just so low maintenance and they never fail you. So, um, this is going to go on the back of the bike and be kind of the star of the show. So I'm super excited about that. And then I have all these, these little crates and things and wire baskets. 
and I'm not sure which one I use. I, these, I, I have started pre-drilling holes in because either way I'm gonna turn these into planters. But this one is the perfect color. If you look at it, it's the perfect color to go with the bike. Yeah, so I think, you know, I'm thinking that these two, the crate on the back, and then that is the basket on the front. We'll see, we'll see. I do have a, also this um, apple basket, but I know that that's gonna only get me through one season before um, it, it rots away. So that will last, this is metal. This is a metal, metal. Um, so that, that'll last pretty much for years. So yeah, so this is what I'm gonna be using. I'm super excited as you can tell. And I think it's gonna look really neat when it gets all done. It might take a couple days. It is getting very late here. It's 20 of six. And this is on the south side of the house. So the sun is, is at the front of the house now and it, it'll get pretty dark back here so i might have to pick it up tomorrow and finish it off um plus i'll need to have dinner so this is a weird time of day to start this but like i said i'm super excited so i wanted to get going on it okay so yeah let's get going <laughs> The zip ties were the only problem was uh, every time it seemed like I fed them and I fed them different ways they were catching so once I got them to kind of bite and zip um, that they worked out really well and they're holding everything really firm uh, yeah so I just put the crate on I didn't buy anything special these are baskets that I had around and I lucked out that I had this one and it matches the, the tires perfectly so I thought that would be great with it looking like the flowers were spilling out as they grow in off the front of the bike. And these will perk up. They're just not used to hanging, <laughs> but they'll get used to it. Um, and I put the marigolds because I wanted it to kind of fill in up here as like, you know, as if you had a bouquet for somebody. Um, and then the cup holder worked out great for these little clay pots. So I just put a coleus in there. Um, yeah, and then I decided to put this wire basket over here um, to hold, you know, to gardening things. I thought that would be a nice touch. I hung um, like the rake here. I'll probably move that. I might move that. I think in the wind that's going to get taken, or, or I could wire it. We'll see. I'm not sure about that. That's the only thing I'm not sure about. But everything else, I think it turned out really great. Um, I hope you like it. Um, I'm excited to do something special with my daughter's Mother's Day gift of course and um, yeah I mean I really I'm really excited about it I'll wire it I'll put some rebar into the ground and then I'll wire the rebar um, to the, the bike wheels and then because we get easily on a regular basis we get 50 mile per hour winds so um, that'll that should hold it it's very balanced you can you can bang the bike and I also wanted to make sure that the bike is usable. You can move it. I'll be able to inflate the tires. And um, yeah, so I hope you like it and I'm really excited about it. Okay, I thought I'd give you a rundown of what plants I put in here. These look like petunias, but they're petunia-like flowers. They're much deeper, almost like something a hummingbird would like. And um, they are Cali Eclipse Strawberry Trailing Calibacroas. 
I think that's how you pronounce it, Calabrocoa. Um, yeah, so they're really beautiful. I absolutely love them. They're, they're a little bit daintier. And then this is Calypso Jumbo White Bacopa. I think that this might be Snowstorm under a different name. I'm not sure, but it sure does look like Snowstorm by Proven Winners. So that's that. So I put two of each of those plants in. And then of course these are your double marigolds, which I love marigolds. I think they are the sunniest flower out there and they keep rabbits away. I mean, the rabbits never bother with them. Deer don't bother with them. So, uh, cause this is perfect deer grazing height. So we'll see. <laughs> I'll probably have to spray this a bit um, with some egg or Tabasco sauce or something. Then of course we have um, a coleus. This one is supposed to grow a little bit shorter. <laughs> we'll see. I've never had a coleus that stays short. Mine get really big. I pinch them and pinch them, but it's absolutely gorgeous. And then this is definitely a proven winners. Angel Face Wedgewood Blue Angelonia. It's an Angelonia hybrid, actually. Uh, it's absolutely gorgeous. I love it. I thought it was so pretty, I couldn't leave without it. Then here you can see, I, I added the basket, the wire basket. I thought it looked, it's a very vintagey looking. I thought it goes really great with, the, with uh, this whole theme. And then, you know, the clay pots and my old rusty shovel. And then I had a whiskey barrel and the, uh, or crate, not whiskey barrel, a crate. And then, so under here, if you see, it's got the writing on it, which is really cool. And it'll, I think it'll be so nice as these trail more down the sides of it in the back. And then of course, these are just various proven winners. So yeah, so the pops of yellow that are in this hanging basket is partly why I picked the marigolds is to kind of tie in the yellow up here with the yellow of the basket. And I really think it was, it, it turned out to be a nice touch. Yeah, so that's that. I may even put possibly uh, a basket. I do still have, I do still have this, this basket here. So I may add it into the scene with some, with some flowers in it. And I think that might be a nice touch to finish it off with some flowers at the bottom of the bike. Um, but we'll see, I think it looks great just as is, but that's, that's the only thing I'm thinking about of possibly adding some color down there also. Um, because they would have brought a lot of flowers with them and then stood it up like a stand. Okay, well, thank you for joining me. I, um, I'm really happy with how it turned out. I hope you like it. Um, I guess give me your thoughts in the comment section. Have a great day. Okay, day two. So I made some changes. Um, I really wanted this to have like all kinds of elements on it because that's the carts I've seen in, in Paris. And um, so I had that little crate, so I popped it underneath the, the front basket and just put a, the rake in there instead of hanging it from the bike. Um, oh, I added this, this basket today to it, which is Guara. Uh, a foliage plant and some fairway coleus. Which has beautiful, beautiful burgundy veining on it. And then of course the real frilly, airy guara. And then I wanted more drama coming from here. So I removed the other plant and I put 
this um, Proven Winners potato vine so that it'll grow and cascade down and all. I can wrap it along the bike and just let it cascade down, which I thought would look really dramatic later into the summer. And then of course the basket is the same. Oh, oh, I wanted to add also that I did last night before I went to bed because I was worried about the winds, pound in some rebar and I wire tied the bike to the rebar in the front. Well, yeah, right behind the front tire and then I have it tied to the back tire and I'm going to wire it. You can barely see it. So it goes between the slate of the patio um, pavers. And then I put one back here. I have twine because I ran out of, well, those zip ties would be too short. So I'm going to wire that because I imagine that over time, the wind moving that twine may just break away. So I'm going to wire it so that it can't fray. And then I put a flower pot on top so nobody, you know, if anybody happened to stumble because this is a path, would not get hurt on the rebar. And then this path is going to be cut, cut down. Mm -hmm.